Welcome students. Students, today we will study a very important topic that is criteria for spontaneous process. So we will be discussing about the conditions that is required for a, for a process to be a spontaneous process. So we have already learned the, the, the thermodynamic quantities as entropy, E pressure, T temperature, V volume, H enthalpy, Z is Gibbs free energy, A is Helmholtz free energy, and U is internal energy. So students, based on this, let's find out the conditions required for a spontaneous process. For students, for that students, we have to study a sequence that is SPTV. So this is the first four I have written SPTV. And the second sequence is HZAU. HZAU. Clear? Okay, so remember this SPTV, HZAU. So let's draw this in this way. So I'll draw a square or a rectangle. I'll represent this SPTV first. SPTV. And the next is HZAU. Okay. So I am drawing in this direction. Okay. SPTV. In the same way, HZAU. So I'll write here HZAU. Okay. Okay, students. So after this, <coughs> with the help of this diagram, we'll predict the conditions for a spontaneous process. So I'll start from Z. So delta Z, okay, delta Z less than zero. And this condition is satisfied at constant P and T, okay. So then you see, G lies between P and T. So the first condition for a spontaneous process is delta G less than zero at constant, at constant P and T, P and T. So sometimes they write here P, T, okay. So it shows that delta G less than zero at constant P and T. So in the same way, let's write this again. Delta A less than zero at constant T and V. At constant T and V. The third condition is about U. So delta U less than zero at constant S and V. And the fourth condition is H, delta H less than zero at constant P and S, S and P. So these are the four conditions, which is less than zero at some condition, at some constant condition, okay. So students, they, uh, whenever they ask an exam, they, we have to mention this constant condition, okay. So it is very confusing, so you have to, if you study this sequence, then it is very easy. So the next condition is that students, a spontaneous process is a process in which there is increasing. Okay. okay. So if I consider this condition entropy, then the entropy should be greater than zero. Okay. So I'll write the five, fifth condition: delta S greater than zero. Okay. Remember, for entropy, the change in entropy it should be greater than zero. But the condition is that S greater than zero at constant H and P. At constant H and P. The sixth condition is also same. Delta S greater than zero at constant U and V. So at constant U and V. Okay. So we can cl cl classify the conditions into two types. The first category is less than zero. About Z A H Z A U. Okay. Less than zero. So from this, you can take out the conditions of less than zero at some constant condition, okay, from this diagram. And the last condition is S, delta S, greater than zero. For S, the conditions of constant is taken from this, okay, so at S, constant H and P, and S, U and The sequence is, will be useful for you guys, so <laughs> copy it and uh, practice through this uh, sequence for finding the spontaneity of a process okay so i hope the video is 
useful to you guys. So we will meet again in the next video with some useful and important topics. Okay. Bye students. Have a good day.